I've got Henry Kotsia here of Morgenstern Wines. Uh, well, the winemaker of Morgenstern. Um, Henry and you brought me some wines to pair with my dish. I did. Yes. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about them. I brought you two wines. The, the first one, which you've got in the glass, is called Tosca. It's a Sangiovese blend, 60%, with a little bit of Cabernet and a little bit of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot 2020. It's a, like you can taste, it's an Italian blend. It's a, it's a super Tuscan styled blend. Um, high percentage of Sangiovese, and that's how I like it. That's what, what, what the, the owner wants. He's an Italian guy, mm. and he <laughs> loves his Italian wines. So we've got very small parcels of Sangiovese on the farm, and also another Italian cultivar called Nebbiolo. Both of them make extremely nice food wines. They are great for pairing. Tell me a bit about uh, the characteristic of of these Italian wines in comparison to our South African wines, for example? Well, they are, I always say, this this uh, blend that you have in the glass, it's 60% uh, Italian. It's got the 60% Sangiovese in it. It's 40% it's French because of the Bordeaux blends, but it's 100% South African because only we can make it like we make it here. Uh, Sangiovese in, in Italy is a different, a different animal completely and also as well Cabernet and Merlot in France is completely different to what we can produce it. So we, we're really proud about what we can do in South African conditions. We obviously try and emulate the philosophies that those leaders uh, in producing those wines have and we just try and produce the best quality that we can every time. Excellent. So tell me about the other wine. Yeah, I've got a, a 2003 Morgenstern. It's uh, an older vintage. Uh, we are specialized in, in putting older vintages on the market because we want to, in a way, educate the South African palate that red wine, especially well-made red wines in South Africa, can stand that, that test of time. And that's the philosophy that, that Mr. Bertrand, um, the owner, had from the start when he started producing grapes and producing wine. He, uh, he wanted to show people how good it can be made in South African conditions, but also how it can mature over time. So we kept back a lot of what we produced, obviously putting little bits of each vintage on the market so people can track where the vintage is going. But at a certain stage in the wine's life, we say, now this wine is drinking absolutely fabulous. Yeah, try it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just open up with a different type of corkscrew. This is mm. called the Butler's Friend. And it's just for, let's say, a, a more delicate cork. This wine has been in the bottle and, and aged now for, what is it, 11 years? Yeah. So it, it needs a, a slightly different cork pool. The corks do tend to get up a little bit of wine and well, this one is very good. It, uh, you see a little bit of seepage at the, at the sides there. It does have a little bit of more humidity than yeah. others. So if you lever it with, with a, uh, the normal, it could crack or break, but okay. this just takes it out so let me efficiently. See, let me see this um, interesting device. It's a very old device, and um, I it use it a lot. It seems quite simple, doesn't it? It I is. Mean, it is extremely simple. You just leave it in. You made that look quite easy. It is. It's very easy, indeed. It's actually much easier than pulling putting the other cork tree in. Yeah. And pulling it out. That's exactly, you know, some, sometimes we struggle with that. We have, at the restaurant, you have an older vintage mm -hmm. um, wine, you use a normal corkscrew, and you break the cork. Yeah. Then you have to go through the whole motion of, of you know, decanting the wine, straining it. Exactly. Um, and this is a good um, tool That's to have to prevent tool. that. Exactly. Excellent. Well, cork is also a natural product, and you, 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 you you never know how it's going to how it's going to affect um, in, with a, with a few years extra in a bottle, and this tool is just it's just that that fail safe. It's a it's a wonderful tool to have, but this is a wonderful wine to have in the glass as well. The 2003 Morgenstern. It's 11 years old now, and it is an absolute beautiful drink. If I can just describe the vintage 03, uh, it was probably the perfect vintage. In terms of what what we got as 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 grape growers, it was cool. It was wet at the right times. Um, very cool nights, moderate days. And I wouldn't say it was it was a cool summer. 
And when the, the sun also blazed, it's, this is Africa, so <laughs> it got up to 30s. Um, but the, the most important thing was those, those cool temperatures at night. You want that for, for colour development, for um, phenols, for, for just the general structure of the wine and for flavour development as well. And this wine, at this moment, 11 years on, it's still drinking absolutely fresh. There's a lot of berry and red and fresh fruit on the nose. And putting it in the mouth, it's just sublime, velvety. Well, I can definitely taste that you know what you're doing. And um, I mean, I love, I love these wines and I, it's, uh, you know, I've got to choose one of them. Um, now, Henry, I've made up my mind and I've chosen the Tosca. Um, goes really well with my dish. Mm. Even though I love this Morgenstern Red as well, seriously impressive wine, but this is going to be it. Mm -hmm.